he came up with the symptoms, which is fever. However, he developed a red eye, which is being looked after. He's being treated. The State Minister for Primary Health Care, Dr. Joyce Moruku, has revealed that the victim's family has also been placed under isolation. So still, the family members have to be followed up and we don't want to leave any stone, any, any, any stone that is left untapped. Meanwhile, health officials in Kabali district are monitoring over 100 people who traveled from Rwanda on the weekend. They already kept in a hotel. These are Ugandans who were in Rwanda. And when they heard that the borders are to be closed by last the, the previous night, they all enter back into the country through the buses. The ministry has also stepped up efforts to identify all travelers who recently flew into the country but are not following the self-isolation guidelines that they were given. It is a high level of indiscipline. When you are requested to be self-isolated and you go ahead and mix with the community, we do not want the Ugandan people to be infected. You are risking the life of the population. Maruku said these individuals who face the law. Like the Chinese nationals, they have to face the law. They have to be produced before courts of law. Meanwhile, police is also closely monitoring all places where quarantine for COVID-19 has been put up. And we want to commend the public for their level of vigilance. They have really been informing uh, the police. Uganda still has only one confirmed case of the COVID-19. Joyce Nakato. NTV tonight.